Good morning, precious and beautiful YouTubers, faithful Facebook followers, and tweeters. Hey, what's happening? It's a good day, right? Of course it is. Every day is a great day when you're in the Lord. If you're not in the Lord, it's not that great of a day, I don't think. The Bible says uh, one day in the courts of the Lord is better than a thousand in the world. Yeah, I agree. I don't want any more of the world. I've had enough. Anyway, it's a wonderful, great Wednesday, hump day in the week. If you're looking for Friday, it's hump day. Today's the middle Wednesday. Glory be to God, August 25th. Let me look, make sure. Probably done wrote it down this morning, but yes, it is the 25th. All right, praise the Lord, it's the 25th. We can remember the day, the date. Anyway, uh, praise the Lord, we're still glorifying in my baby's uh, healing. Glory be to God, hey, my baby. Good morning, sweetheart. Bless the Lord, oh, our soul, and forgetting all his benefits. I've been going and singing all along here. He touched my body, he'll heal my mind. He saved me just in time. I'm gonna praise his name. I'm gonna praise his name. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Anyway, glorifying God, giving testimony. I done gave a testimony of it again this morning. Hallelujah. I'm gonna tell everybody I can. My baby was healed of Graves' disease. Glory be to God. Yes, prayer works. Hallelujah. And that's why we have uh, Miss JJ on the list. Uh, she is, uh, if I understood right correctly, she is in third stage chemotherapy. I have no idea what the stages are and I really don't care. The only thing I need to know is she's healed. That's it. That's all I need to know. Okay, so we cursed the bone uh, cancer. We put it in hell yesterday. We told it not to come back. Now we're waiting for the testimony. Yes, yeah, like my baby. Uh, she had Graves' disease. I don't know how long. I don't know how many, how long she had it. I still haven't asked her. I really don't care. We're finished with it. It's in the past. Yes, baby, it's in the past. Glory be to God. Anyway, just like that, okay? Uh, my lady asked me, I don't know, a few months ago, uh, if I'm healed of Graves' disease, then what will we do about the doctor? Uh, we agreed to she continue going to the doctor so she could be a testimony. Guess what? She's a testimony, yeah. She became a testimony of healed Graves' disease. Uh, from what I understand, Graves' disease, it really causes a problem with your eyes. And it's really hard to see sometimes. Uh, it, your eyes hurt. Uh, it's a problem with your respiratory system. It, it makes you weak. It makes you uh, tired. And glory be to God, my baby's healed. Well... Thank you, Father, for this beautiful day to come before you, before all these people. Let our light so shine so that the people hearing our voice will uh, know that you have sent us and we are doing good works and they will give glory to you. Thank you, Father, for the healing in my baby. Yes, I'm just, I'm just rejoicing. Hallelujah. There's more to come. Hallelujah. There's more to come. Woo, we're still waiting. Yes, yes. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer, yeah. Anyway, thank you, Father, for this opportunity to bring your word. Glory be to God. We love your word. We want to bring your word to the people. It's what changes people. That's what we're learning today. Today, we're learning about the light. What is the light of men? Well, we're going to find that out, and then we're going to know, want to know if you want to meet this light of men. He's real, and he's here. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus. His word does not return to him void, so somebody is going to get something out of this today. Hallelujah. Wednesday in Greater Oklahoma, I am P. John. Thank you for listening. Today's manna for the 25th of October is quite a bit. Uh, my lady gave me a few, several scriptures. Uh, well, four. Okay, four. I have pulled several scriptures. That's what I want to say. I pulled several scriptures. She gave me four scriptures. And I got one scripture. And I pulled five more passages. So we got a lot to read. I love the word. So does my baby. I'm so happy that she's with me and able to speak the word to me. Oh my goodness. On that video call the other day. Oh my goodness. She just had the word just flowing out of her. She's calling out the numbers and the books. And I'm like, wow, baby, you are awesome. 
Jesus is in awe. It's awesome in her. Yeah, we love Jesus. We love Jesus. We love Jesus. She sent me four scriptures. I begin with the Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. We were saying that uh, we pray the blood of Jesus over each of our lives. And by the blood, we are saved. So, that's how it happened. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they, the saints, overcame him, the devil, because of the blood of the Lamb, Jesus, and because of the words of their testimony, hallelujah, we just overcame Graves' disease by our testimony, put it in hell, we put it in hell, bigger than Dallas, woo, bigger than Dallas, because of the word of their testimony. And they did not love their life even when faced with death. Whenever you're faced with death, are you afraid or are you happy? I'm happy because I know where I'm going. I'm going home. Anyway, he won't let me go home yet, but it's okay. Uh, I've got new hope. Uh, I just learned something about uh, the light of our eyes, which is was our, man, uh, our other manna that I pulled today. It's so wonderful when the Holy Spirit opens your eyes. I read this verse of passage of scripture I don't know how many times and I have never read these words like I read today. You ever done that? Well, I've walked with Jesus 23 years and I've read the Bible so much and this one passage, this one verse just jumps right at me and shows me words I don't ever remember and even reading. That's the Holy Spirit. Amazing when he opens your spiritual eyes. Poof! Hey, there's a kind of a pun there, right? Yeah, he's about to... These are about to go away. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyway. Uh, my next uh, verse for my baby is Romans 15, 7. Romans chapter 15, verse 7. We just learned that we overcome the enemy, the devil, by the blood of the Lamb. So, book of Romans chapter 15, verse 7 teaches us just a few pages a few pages, it's a few pages after this, it's just a few page short jumps. Anyway, Romans 15, 7, book of Romans chapter 15, verse 7. Therefore, therefore, since the blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed us, washed us, saved us, purified us, and over helped us overcome the devil, therefore, Accept one another, yes, accept one another, just as Christ also accepted us. So Jesus come down here, shed his blood for us, accepted us. Now we get to receive it and be cleansed by his blood. And glory be to God, let's go accept one another. For the glory of God. Yeah, for the glory of God. Why else are we going to do it anyway for the glory of God? Yes, let's go do it for the glory of God. Not ourselves. Book of James, chapter 4, verse 10 is next. Book of James, chapter 4, verse 10. James 4, 10. Book of James, chapter 4, verse 10. Book of James, chapter 4, verse 10. James. James. Where's James? James. I love the word James. There he is, hi, James. This is Jesus' brother. Book of James, chapter 4, verse 10. Book of James, chapter 4, verse 10. James 4, 10. Now, since we know that we uh, are cleansed by the blood of the Lamb and overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and the spoken word of our testimony, and then we go and accept one another because Jesus accepted us, and then now we're going to humble ourselves in the presence of the Lord and find out what he wants us to do in this life. Humble yourselves in the presence of the Lord, and He will exalt you. So we're just going to come here and clean up after people and smile about it. And whenever He's ready, He's going to exalt us real soon. So praise the Lord. Thank you for that, man, of baby. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15. Here's the, just a few pages back. Hebrews 4, 15. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15. And here's wrapping up 
her manna for today. We are cleansed by the blood of Jesus. We overcome the enemy by the blood of Jesus. Book of uh, Hebrews chapter 4 verse, I mean look, 15. 15. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things, just as we are, yet without sin. So, that's why we put our faith in Jesus and his blood, because he's the one to overcome the sin. He didn't have any sin. He was the only one that could overcome the sin, and so he did. Glory be to God. So now we just put our faith in him, and that's it. No, it's not. Then you got to endure because there's going to be people coming at you. The devil's going to send people at you trying to knock you off the path. And you got to keep your light shining. And uh, here we go learning about the light. Okay. Thank you so much for that manna, hon. You're always lifting up Jesus for us. Thank you so much for lifting up Jesus. Glory be to God. I love her so much because she lifts up Jesus. So... I pulled from the book of Luke, chapter 11. Book of Luke, chapter 11. This is uh, book of Luke, chapter 11, after he sent out the 72 and they came back. And book of Luke, chapter 11, he starts teaching about the light. Book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 34 through 36. Luke eleven thirty four through thirty six. Eleven book of Luke thirty six thirty four. The eye is the lamp of your body. When your eye is clear. Your whole body also is full of light. But when it is bad, your body also is full of darkness. Then, watch out. That the light in you is not darkness. If therefore your whole body is full of light, with no darkness part in it, no dark part in it, it will be holy Illumined, as when the lamp illumines you with its rays. And there's the verse right there. I've probably read, I don't know how many times, and the Spirit has had it closed to my eyes. I was this morning reading that going, illumines. What? I never read that before in my life. What are you talking about? He holy illumines us. He holy, what? Holy illumined. We're holy illumined? Uh, I had to look it up. I was like, what is this going on? So we get to learn some. He who has will, will be given more, but he who has not, what he has will be taken. So study yourselves to be approved. I was like, what is this illumined stuff? All right, so we got to go look this up. So we'll be wholly illumined. So everything, if your eye is pure and full of light, it makes your body full of light. Now, that illumines the everything around you. Illumines means to bring light to. So you're going to go take the light and bring light to other people. It's going to illumine you when your eye is of the light. Now here's the difference. Okay, this is what the Spirit showed me. Book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 6, verse 24 through 34 is the most famous passage probably anybody ever knows. It's about the manna versus God serving. Okay, so look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. Very key scripture here that tells, teaches us. 6, 6, Matthew 6, 24. Okay. No one can serve two masters. Okay, so Jesus starts teaching now about two masters here on earth. One of them is God and one of them is money. No one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or he will be dev devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. So here's the 
differentiating line right here, okay? If your eye is on material wealth and getting what you want and getting everything you can in this world, then you are going to be full of darkness because the love of money is the root of all evil. It takes money to buy wealth. Well, he's talking about wealth. He's talking about real stuff. Okay. He says you can't serve God and wealth. So the wealth is going to uh, dictate what you do if that's what you serve, if your eye is looking for it. Now, if you turn your eye to the scriptures and learn the word and only keep the word on your eyes and you keep the light in front of you because Jesus is the light. We're about to show that. Then your, your body will be full of light and you will illumine that light like we're doing now. We're illuminating, illumining the word to you because that's what we're full of. We have studied. We have shown ourselves approved. Now we're full of the word. We're full of the light. Glory be to God. Our eyes are right. Yeah, here we go. Anyway, so, and, uh, you know, that's part of been, I had, I had to go through a lot to cleanse these eyes. I tell you, the enemy, the devil, put a stronghold on me at 10 years old. And I assure you, every man's going to know what I'm talking about. It just happens as a boy, okay? Just the way it is. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not discussing it. Uh, every man knows. It's every man's battle. Uh, so, but it starts right here. Now, when my baby came into my life, when my sweetheart, my one beautiful, one true love that I just dearly love. Oh, my goodness, I love this lady so much. Anyway, when she came into my life, she was this pure vessel of love and respect and honor and just stuff in the world that she's never even heard of, that I've came out of. And it was like, she took my eye off of everything else that was of the world and of the wealth and of, you know, me and put it on Jesus because that's who she represents. And she's so pure and holy, she's kept herself, she's preserved herself from things of the world that I just stumbled off into. And now that I've come out of, God says, I'm going to give you someone that's going to show you the light and make it right. No, I'm not going, uh, no, no. Anyway, he, he rhymes, rhymes, anyway. Anyway, so it's like, yes, that hit me this morning like, the eye of the body is the light. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. It matters what I look at. It matters what I want to accomplish with these eyes. Mm -hmm. Because they're on God and whatever he wants us to accomplish is what we're going to accomplish now because our eyes are pure. So what is your eyes on today? Is it on material wealth or is it on Jesus? That's the kicker. That's the different splitting line right down the middle. What is your eyes on? So that's uh, where you differentiate what, what you're looking at. So then I thought, let's learn some more about what the light is. What is this light? We, if the light is the eye of the body, and we're supposed to let this light shine, what is this light? Book of John, chapter 1, we'll go to the right way. Book of John, chapter 1. Book of John, I don't know why I was thinking I was going anyway. Book of John, chapter 1. John 1. John 1. Oh, yeah, I want to do 1010 10 also. Ten ten. John, chapter 1. John, chapter 1. John 1. John 1. John, chapter 1. John, chapter 1, verse 1. John, chapter 1. Verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, John is describing Jesus here. This is Jesus. He's talking, Jesus is the Word. Okay, now we're going to learn what the light is. Jesus is the Word. He was in the beginning with God. Verse 2. So, the Word was in the beginning, was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, the Word. 
And apart from him, nothing came into being. So through Jesus, everything was created. That has come into being. Verse 4, in him, Jesus, the word was life. Now, watch this. And the life was the light of men. See? Yeah, it. Anyway, Jesus is the light. Okay, where is your eyes? Are you looking at Jesus? Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, yes. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith. So where's your eyes? Eyes, your lid, that's your eye is the light of your body. What are you looking at? In him was life. And the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, verse 5, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Where did that happen? Where did the light shine in the darkness? In the beginning. In the beginning. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Didn't even write this one down. But anyway, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Genesis 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and void. That means it didn't have anything in it. It was empty. And darkness was over the face of the deep. Darkness was over the face of the deep. That was the devil. And the Spirit of God, here comes the light. The Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the water. Yeah, love it. So there's where we see uh, what, 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 what John just talked about, what John just talked about. Uh, the light shines in the darkness. Started right there. Book of John, chapter 1, verse... John, Genesis, chapter 1, verses 1 through uh, 3. Let there be light. God said, let there be light. <laughs> Boom. Here comes the light. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus came to earth by the Spirit. Here comes the light. <laughs> Jesus is the light. All right. We just understand what... Okay, so Jesus is the light, right? Oh! Jesus is the light, right? So what are we going to do with this light? We're going to shine it by night and never take fright. Ooh! Because we got the light. He shines so bright. So come take a ride with us so you don't walk in the night. Ah, anyway. Uh, so I thought, so what scriptures do I use to tie this all together? It looks like this might run into a second video. So sorry. So I thought, the word, we're going to tie this word in. Okay, Jesus is the word. He is the light. When God said, let there be light, <laughs> here comes Jesus. Okay, God said, let there be light. There was Jesus. Poof. He's the light of the world. He's the light of heaven. He's the light of the new Jerusalem. He's the light of Israel. He's the light. Right. Okay, so, I thought, Book of Psalm, chapter 119, tells us what this word is. The Book of Psalm, chapter 119. If you know your Bible and love your Bible, it's verse 105. Psalm 119, 105. Psalm 119, 105. Your word, Jesus, is a lamp to my feet. And a light to my path. Yeah. Jesus is the light of our path. So, if you follow Jesus, you're going to have light on your path. That's what John went on into talking about. Uh, Jesus came into the world and showed us the way. And that's what the book of 1 John 1.10 tells us. The book, book of John chapter for the book of 1 John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 10. The book of 1 John, 
tongue tied. Book of First John, First John, First John. One, First John chapter one, First John chapter one, verse one. What was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our own eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our own hands concerning the word of life. Okay, so we already learned that Jesus is the word. He is the life uh, and he is the light of men. Verse 2, and the life was manifested. Yes. The life was manifest, Jesus was manifested, and we have seen and testify and proclaim to you the eternal life. So once they see, once you see Jesus, you see eternal life, and you get to proclaim it. Proclaim it. What we have seen and heard we proclaim to you also, so that you too may have fellowship with us. So, we proclaim Jesus to, do, to you so you can accept the light. We let our light so shine so you can accept the light, so you can have fellowship with us. And we got about 15 seconds and we're going into overtime. So let me finish this video like this. I hope it goes into overtime. Anyway, just a few seconds. We get that out of the way. I forgot yesterday's video. I'm so sorry. I did a 10 second video after that so I could just do the, the hand signals and it, it, I thought, nah, we just we just have to forget it. It's just one of the mishaps. So sorry. So, let me make sure this is 